Welcome to another video from Rambling Geek. Today we're going to take a look at uh, Windows 10 build 17686. Last week I unfortunately missed a build, uh, which was build 17682. Uh, in build 17682, Microsoft uh, did some improvements to how sets work. Uh, it's not a great deal, but um, when you have uh, a UWP app open, uh, and you do a new tab, uh, you now get these. Uh, this list will update uh, as and when you use the application. Um, you can see this here, uh, just to give you a little example of what happens. So it's a nice little usability feature. I still find it a little bit disjointing that uh, you click the plus and it opens a browser tab. Um, bit strange. We'll see how that progresses over time. Um, Microsoft has made improvements uh, to the projection by introducing a uh, bar very similar to um, uh, like an RDP bar, like this bar up here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you this because uh, I'm on a, uh, a VM. Uh, this is what happens on the VM. Uh, I'm working on getting some hardware together so I can actually do these demonstrations and previews and uh, on a proper piece of kit okay so yeah um, there are developments coming uh, soon to do with uh, more support for web authentication this is where you can log in through Windows Hello to web pages or uh, Fido to devices such as this fella I'm planning on doing a video at some point about these. Uh, so it's nice to see Microsoft uh, doing support for that. Now, being an IT professional and working in IT for the last 20 odd years, I'm really pleased to see this finally come uh, to Windows built in. It's the RSAT. Now, if you're not familiar with the RSAT, RSAT is the remote tools. Um, for managing servers and whatnot. Previously, what we've had to do is download these at each single grade, they would be blown away, and you would have to wait for the next release to come. Uh, what Microsoft's now done is finally is included into the Windows code. Uh, they're not installed by default, um, they are there. If we scroll through this list, you can see them here. So, this is good to see. So, being able to have, have these tools uh, to install and then manage your servers is really good to see. Um, there is another uh, tool that Microsoft released, released regarding Windows servers, uh, the web admin tool. And again, I'm going planning on doing a video on that at some point. So yeah, this is all very good. Um, there's some uh, changes to post upgrade you may see. Uh, it sort of just makes it goes through the settings, uh, sets up Windows Hello, links your, links your phone, shows you how to use um, the uh, timeline feature. Uh, not much on here uh, and that kind of good stuff so that's that, that, that was sort of what the the changes that he did in build uh, 1682 so moving on to um, build let's get my notes here build 686 okay so not very exciting really not, there's not much changed uh, so if we just go back um, they've improved the local experience as they refer to it uh, which even introduced a new reading a reading page a uh, page sorry um, and in here you can set your defaults for your region um, what day of the week you want calendars to, to uh, your calendar to start on this will be system wide I believe um, and there's also um, not that one, sorry. It's up here somewhere. I saw it before. Uh, ah, there we go. So you can add language packs and these experience packs, uh, which will bring some new functionality. I believe it's new anyway. Uh, privacy improvements. Um, they're doing some. Uh, Yeah, there you go. This build's gone wonky. Yeah, I keep getting a lot of this. Where, whereby, Explo not Explorer, sorry, <laughs> uh, Edge just doesn't want to respond anymore. 
very, very annoying. I don't know if there's a problem with the build or with the fact that I'm running in a VM. Shouldn't be, because everything else seems to be working okay. And there you go. So, uh, yeah, uh, privacy settings are blocked. Again, I can't do this because I'm on a, VPN, uh, a VM. Um, so, uh, this is what's going to happen when an app, when you've blocked settings to disallow access to the microphone, this will pop up uh, to sort of prompt you that you need to give access to any applications that may be wanting access to the microphone, such as the camera app or the voice memo app. There's a loads of mixed reality improvements that they've done, um, which I'm not going really to cover because I've got no mixed reality headset to even bother looking at. Uh, and then there's just general changes, improvements and fixes for the PC. Um, the black theme in File Explorer is coming along quite nicely. There's a bit of a weird uh, issue sometimes on here. Hasn't happened this time. You get a green line across here. Uh, this is looking fairly good. Um, I find it a little bit inconsistent with the blacks. See, the, I'm not sure if that comes up on camera, but this this looks more black than this. Um, so a bit more consistency there would be would be nice. Um, and also one thing, while whilst this is black, the spacing between that one menu and this one is different in between each item. So again, it's still not quite consistent. Being a little bit picky, maybe, but you know, it's all about the, the fine details. Uh, so yeah, that's just been a quick skim through and look at the previous two builds released from Microsoft. Um, I'm hoping to drop a video every week. Uh, I'm going to change that from which has been of the last few weeks of Sunday, and um, probably to, to, to a Thursday. Uh, so a new video every Thursday. Please subscribe if you like these videos. Please comment and let me know what you like to see. Let me know if I'm missing anything out. Let me know if these videos are too short, too long, too fast paced. Um, and yeah, don't forget to hit the bell as well to make sure you get notifications for any new videos that I may post. I'm hoping to branch away from the Windows 10 uh, videos and into a little bit into more other things. Uh, so yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye.